The 8 o'clock information in on Hurricane Barrel, still a Category 5 hurricane. So we're watching this powerful hurricane. It is forecast to weaken a little bit over the next day or two, but it's still going to do most likely a pretty significant blow across Jamaica. So this thing is moving along to the west northwest. I wanted to show you the radar images out of Puerto Rico and you can see San Juan here. The eye is actually by satellite it looks here but the more recently updated radar images showing the progression of that eye and the location again south of Puerto Rico. It is still passing a good distance to the south about 191 miles south of the southern coast here of Puerto Rico. So it's moving along some very heavy rain bands here. The hurricane force winds extend out 40 miles and the tropical storm force winds go out from the center about 125 miles or so. There's also going to be some squally conditions around some of those heavier bands. But you can see again Puerto Rico aside from a few tropical downpours, a few showers kind of skirting by the worst of barrel has been far to the south of Puerto Rico. That's good news. When we take a look at the southern tip of Hispaniola, you've got the Dominican Republic here in Haiti. They are under tropical storm warning as this system is forecast to move off to the west northwest right now they're still about 270 miles or so off to the southeast the center is from the southern tip there of Hispaniola. So it is moving along and we're going to talk about where this thing is headed. You can see it's a beautifully well-defined eye there. You've got great venting going on. There's that uh, that anticyclonic venting at the upper levels of this storm. And again, there is deep convection all the way around it. So obviously this is a very powerful category five hurricane. As you can see, it is moving along to the west northwest right now. That movement is 22 miles per hour. So it's not just kind of taking its time. It's rolling at a pretty good clip. You see the tropical storm warnings that are up for the Dominican Republic, Jamaica under a hurricane warning, and you'll see with the forecast track just how close it's going to come to Jamaica with the current thinking. And then the Cayman Islands are under hurricane watch. They need to be prepared. It looks like those tropical storm force winds are going to reach Jamaica early tomorrow, probably pre sunrise Wednesday, and then the hurricane force winds pick up for Jamaica during the day on Wednesday and eventually reaching the Cayman Islands later Wednesday night. So here's a look at the forecast track. As I mentioned, it does weaken a little bit. It's going to be strong enough to certainly produce tropical storm force conditions along the southern beaches there of Hispaniola, both the Dominican Republic and Haiti. That's why they've got the tropical storm warnings up. It looks like the center is going to pass very close to Jamaica. Could be a direct hit, maybe just a little south with the center. But again, those hurricane force winds extending out about 40 miles. That's going to put Jamaica in that right front quadrant as the storm system's moving along. It is set to take a really hard hit from barrel. Now, it should weaken a little bit. Still could be a major hurricane passing Jamaica, so we're going to be watching that carefully. And again, slightly weaker as it impacts the Caymans, but I think the Caymans are going to take a pretty good hit as well. As it continues off towards Yucatan, now we're worried about Cozumel and possibly Cancun. Cancun may be just a little bit farther to the north of where most of the violent part of the storm is, but if that track shifts a little bit, it could come up closer to Cancun. Certainly Cozumel, one of the areas we're concerned with. The Yucatan, as it comes across, it reemerges in the Gulf of Mexico as a tropical storm. Now you see the timing here again for Jamaica. It's going to be a Wednesday deal as we go Wednesday night into early Thursday morning around 2 a.m. It'll be just south of the Caymans. The center is expected by late Thursday night into early Friday to approach the Yucatan, crossing over the Yucatan on Friday and getting back out over the water by Friday night and into the weekend. So that's what we're looking at now. The spaghetti plot on this, you know, there's very good agreement, very tight packing with the model runs out through about Friday and into the weekend. But once we get into Saturday, Sunday, the models start to diverge a little bit. A few of them do pick it up and carry it a little farther to the north. Others carry it farther to the south and keep it going west-northwest. I will tell you, high pressure has been 
in control over the southern U.S. And if that high pressure stays pretty firmly entrenched, it'll take more of a southerly track. If it weakens or if it slides a little bit farther to the east, that may allow it to come up. We'll see. It's still several days out, obviously, but this is something we're going to be watching. So interest along the Texas coast, even up to Louisiana, but certainly the Texas coast and certainly the Mexican coastlines, they're going to want to monitor all the developments with barrel very carefully over the coming days. Other than barrel, things are not looking too bad right now. We actually have a little bit of encouraging news to share with you in that other area of investigation, 96L, the one we've been watching yesterday. It had a 70% chance of development. It was downgraded to about a 60% chance. Well, today, as of this morning, Hurricane Center is seeing less conducive kind of environment for development. It's looking like it's going to be maybe struggling to get better organized over the coming days. And they've lowered the chances of development down to 30%. So still something we certainly want to watch as this area is forecast to move on a similar track to what Barrel did, maybe a little farther to the north. But it looks less likely that it will develop. Of course, if that changes, we will let you know. You definitely want to stay tuned to 13 News Now for updates.